Hi, my name is Dean Vaughan, I'm from Leaf and we're here at ISE showing our 20 source, 20 zone HDMI matrix. Uh, this is our product here. The matrix itself is uh, utilises HD based T technology. So we have 20 source input, HDMI source inputs. Uh, we have 16 HD based T outputs on the front here. And we also have another four direct HDMI outputs on the back of the unit. Now these four direct HDMI's are designed for installing a receiver in the rack where you need a HDMI signal in the rack rather than in the zone. You can take a direct feed from there. In addition to that, we have 16 SPDIF inputs on the back of the unit, so you can connect another 16 audio-only sources. There's bi-directional IR, RS-232, uh, Ethernet, and we also have a, an SPDIF return audio channel on the, on the breakout here. So this allows you to put things like an iPod dock in the zone, um, and send audio back to the matrix. Now this is an unusual design. Yes, with regards to the connectors on the front. Um, the main reason that we've done this is from an engineering point of view. We've tried to reduce the amount of PCBs that we use because when you're talking about very high bandwidths as you are with HDMI, the every point of connection is a, is a potential point of failure. So within this main board we only have two PCBs to run the whole 20 sources 220 zones and it allows us uh, one and we only have one connector between the PCBs and it's a high quality high speed um, 180 point connector so it's a it's a very high high quality um, piece of connection so from an engineering point of view whenever we design a product we design it to work as well as it can and from that point of view, it was best that we had it all on as few PCBs as possible. It sure now, save a whole lot of racking it. Absolutely. We also understand that um, the people like their racks to be clean, so they don't like to see connections coming out the front of the unit. So we have a uh, what we call a recess rack mount kit. So essentially the rack mount kit comes out to about here and it recesses the unit back inside the rack and then we, you can put a blank plate over the front of the unit. So from an aesthetic point of view, there's no cables coming out the front, but you still have the advantages of a, the engineering side of things.